Yo guys, what is up? Davis here. Uh, today's video is going to be showing you guys how to actually switch your stealth server. Uh, it's really simple. You can do it two ways. Uh, you can use a USB flash drive or you can just do it on your, your computer uh, using neighborhood. Either way, uh, you're going to have to have a computer to do this um, unless you somehow already have the files on your flash drive or something. Um, anyway, some of you guys will have an issue like fatal crashing or um, getting stuck at the logo. Uh, so if you guys have a stealth server on right now and say say it's down or it just doesn't even work, uh, the way to get past that is to actually bypass the plugins and also say if you have a fatal crash as well, um, you'd have to bypass the plugins to actually correct the issue. So, um, or you can just put a, a blank long time eye and then you know set up everything, reset up everything after you do that. Uh, I have a video right here to show you guys how to how to do that. It's really simple. Um, so yeah, go watch that if you are having those issues that I just said. Um, and this will work. There's two methods to this actually uh, that you can use. Um, so yeah, be sure to watch that. I know the second method will, will definitely work, but um, usually the first method, the first method would work um, so what we're gonna do right here is right now it's stuck on the logo but I think the Xbox will connect to the to neighborhood so um, we're gonna be just doing this through neighborhood and editing it editing the launch on I and it's just the most simple way um, I'm actually gonna delete this um, <clears throat> so right now I'm on real nigga stealth and uh, it's actually the old files, so it's not going to load because the old files are bad. So I'm just going to switch that server to Advocate Live. It doesn't matter if it's Advocate Live. It doesn't matter if, it, if you're going to real nigga. It, it all works the same way. Um, setting up your server, it, it's exactly the same way. So, you know, it's just, just imagine this is, you know, a stealth server. Uh, anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to open up... Uh, neighborhood and if you don't have that there'll be a download link and so on the logo it's not actually connecting to my JTAG so uh, what we have to do is we have to turn our Xbox off so let me do that and we're just gonna bypass the plugins right now so turn the Xbox on and then hit the eject button and that's all there is to it to bypassing the plugin it's really simple um, that, if that doesn't work for you guys, then you're going to have to do the second method on that video, which uh, it's just putting in a blink long time eye on a USB. And basically, there's no plugin set for the, the long time eye, so when your Xbox turns on, it just reads that and it's like, hey, there's no plugin. So uh, it boots up with no plugins. So, you know, uh, now we're past the logo, so. Um, now what we can do is we can go back into the neighborhood and as you can see we got that check mark and there's no question mark there so just click on that retail hard drive and first thing we're going to need to get is our launch our launch i and i now some servers will actually have a they'll have a setup file and they'll, they'll have uh their own launch i and i and stuff like that and you could just easily um you know copy and paste that into here and that's pretty much what we're going to do but um, for some people, they'll just have the XEX because uh, I know some server sellers are not um, very detailed. Anyway, what we're going to do is since I have the XEX right here, all I'm going to do is we're just going to drag and drop the, this long time eye right here. And so this is actually what loads your plugins and stuff. And we're just going to open that up. And right here is actually my stealth server number two um, so all we're going to be doing is we're going to copy this name and paste it right there and then we're going to save it a few times and also something I want to um, tell you guys it doesn't have to be this way you know you, you can uh, you do it whatever way you want it but number one definitely needs to be XBDM um, 
XBDM, XBDM is actually what connects to uh, neighborhoods. So if you don't have that plug-in at all, you're not you're gonna have to do this with a, uh, a flash drive. Uh, plug-in two uh, definitely needs to be your stealth server. Plug-in three needs to be um, a GTA five menu if you have one. Um, it doesn't. If you don't have one, then just leave it blank. Um, plugin four needs to be JRPC two. Sorry, and then uh, plugin five needs to be XRPC, and that's that's the order they should go in. Because most uh, most tools are used with JRPC and XRPC, so. I just I put all those plugins just like that for my consoles when I sell them. So after you do that, just save it a few times to make sure you actually do have it saved, um, and then go back into um, neighborhood. And all you're gonna do is just drag. You're gonna highlight both of them and just drag and drop it right into there. And it ask. It might ask you to replace. Just click yes to all. And that's pretty much it. Now, um, what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna restart my Xbox now. I'm not gonna bypass the plugins. So there, it's off, and now turn it back on. It's taking a little bit. Now it, it might actually restart one time at this logo. Um, that means that it's it's setting your stealth server and it's setting your KV and stuff. Um, but as you can see, it says that we're on Advocate now. It says it's connected, so we're on the internet and all that good stuff. Um, and that's pretty much all you have to do to, to switch the stealth server. It works all the same way for any stealth server at all. Um, but mostly, sometimes um, they might have a dot, a lot, another INI file. Like, say if they have XE cheats built in, uh, they might have a file that's called XE cheats.ini. You need to put that on your hard drive as well. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope it helped you. Um, if you guys need anything, just let me know. I'm Kick. I can help you out. Peace out.